back to 2 0. I'm also. Overall, just trying to improve our, uh, I guess, our win rate with the clad. And repeated runs feel like they can help with that. So, 18 damage for a rare relic didn't work out so well. What about 18 damage for 250 gold with early shops available? How does that feel? I like the idea of looking at one shop. If it's potentially high roll enough, we can get the Burning Elite somehow. And if it's not that, we can opt into another shop, look for more options, or start fighting lesser elites here with another shop coming up. Other options are remove a card or common relic. I like the money here. I like the money here. It's too many hit points, Mr. Cultist. I demand that you stop. Let's see, 21. Four strikes? We can do that. Yeah, so we just strike this turn, double defend, next turn, three strikes. Plus four from this combat. We get a potion, although not a very good potion. And the floor one, Dark Embrace. If you're going for immediate impact here, I definitely say Headbutt is the way to go. But uh, Dark Embrace, do be Dark Embrace. And let's click it. Let's just do it. No hesitation. No regrets. Although this fight is some regrets. Is this bad enough to skill potion? I think it is. <clears throat> Currently taking 12. Perfect. Definitely don't love using a potion in one of the early combats, but with a turn one that bad, I, I think it was just justified. <clears throat> I think it was justified. No redraw on the flame barrier, though. It is a bit sad. With weak in there, I couldn't kill with bash strike. <clears throat> but overall, I think we saved 12 off that potion, so I'm happy to have used it. True Grit to go with Dark Embrace? You better believe it. I can always just buy attack cards. Like Offering. Offering's an attack card, right? <clears throat> feel like it is. Headbot on sales. Perfectly reasonable. As far as relics go, Gambling Chip is very good, but... Uh... Too expensive. <laughs> Take those two. Armaments is okay here. Good Instincts is interesting. We could buy Good Instincts card remove. I like that, actually. I like that a lot. Although that means no fire potion. Maybe Good Instincts fire potion. simply remove. I'm going to take the, the super block. Zero cost block six is pretty potent, and I want to see what that can do for us this run. Thought about headbutting the bash. Guess I should have. Definitely should have. Now I've got to play Offering against Jawworm? How embarrassing. Three attacks won't kill, huh? Hmm. 
Good. Still not a bad fight overall. We definitely want more damage. Anger's looking pretty good. Although, with the Dark Embrace, I actually also like Infernal Blade. <laughs> Makes an attack and draws a card. Anger's kind of annoying against the Guardian. Let's go for Infernal Blade. See if we can trust it. Don't feel like we got strong enough to want to fight a Burning Elite here, did we? Maybe we did. We're really good at sentries. Gremlin Knob could cause trouble, but we got lots of card draw at least. Lagavulin's not too bad. I do see Gremlin Knob being trouble though. It's a really nice payoff. Heck it, let's go for it. How's it going, Merle? Life's good, and we had our streak reset by a really nasty ironclad seed. Otherwise, things are great. Last streak ended at uh, 7. Hello and welcome to Magnet. I do like the random upgrades a lot. It does make this Burning Elite way more dangerous, right? Minus 23 goes to 29. And you need 32 to survive 4-turn Gremlin Knob. Or 3-turn Gremlin Knob, rather. Survive turn 3 of that fight. I don't think I should do this. I need, need to be able to play Offering as well. So I will leave wondering what might have been. It is max health, Gremlin Knob. That means we might be toast here, actually. This is the worst possible situation. We're going to need Bash and Infernal Blade to cooperate, or else... All right, Infernal Blade, show us what you got. That might do it. Uh, I think that kills next turn, actually. I think we're fine. Whew, that was close. Oh, we even redrew it, nice. Although we can't quite kill without... I guess I could use the Energy Potion now instead of the Fire Potion. With more elites coming up this act, let's do that. Let's use the energy potion and get the kill. Okay, that was good. We took out the burning elite, we scored an Omomori, we used one potion, and now we have demon form and disarm. Uh, gotta say, with dark embrace, the disarm is the more tempting pick here. Good against guardian, too. And we just got through a gremlin up, so let's take a disarm. I wonder if that means I avoid a third elite. Hmm. Which arm? Disarm. True Grit, Dark Embrace, and Infernal Blade upgrades are all a bit tempting here. I particularly like the Infernal Blade upgrade to make it zero cost. Let's do that. Yoink. Pretty cool to get a free golden idol. Don't have to trade Maxell for it. And instead we gain Maxell. Sure. Happy to have it. I'm gonna play Bash over blocking for four here. And Polonet, a dad joke for the crowd. Why was the ironclad so smelly? Because he had good instincts. No refunds. 
about fire potion here? We're only taking four again, but we do need to accelerate the fight anyway. Might as well, I say. Although it's Grumlin Knob number two protection, yeah? No, I need this for Grumlin Knob. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. Okay, looks not too bad overall. Strike here, block here, put the good instincts back on top, presumably. Yeah. Start killing you. Okay, not bad. We score meat on the bone, which will heal us if we're below half health after a combat. And I think that means we can very comfortably just upgrade into running through that shop. I don't hate a second headbutt. Normally I don't go double headbutt, but right now we're in need of more attacks, and I do like the additional manipulation we gain. To master one character, do I think playing the other characters has any benefit to it? No, I think the four characters are separate skills. I think it's more challenging to play the game, trying to use multiple characters at the same time. So to try to get better results with a particular character, I'm... playing the others less. Have I played Hollow Knight? Yes, and I really enjoyed it. Really liked Hollow Knight. I guess we upgrade True Grit and Disarm going into Guardian? Sure. Can't buy the uh, remove, unfortunately, but bloodletting seems real good. Eighteen, thanks for the prime sub and the five months of subport. Wait on offering here. This is turn three. So we wake up with triple strike and then we play Dark Embrace, Disarm, Bloodletting? Seems awkward. Dragon House with an incredibly generous 20, count them 20 gifted subs. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club, one and all. 
Holy moly. Talk about some generosity in Twitch chat. Definitely worth playing the defend at minimum here. Sure. Expect to use the fire potion in this fight. I want that good instincts. Headbutt. Anger? Maybe we need bash. Looks like we need the fire potion, that's for sure. Can we do 40 damage in two turns? Bash headbutt is definitely the best damage this turn. We certainly want the bone for next turn. It's bash headbutt. <clears throat> then we need to do 19. That's more than three strikes. Thankfully, we have more than three strikes. Perfect. Omabi with a full year of support and Endurin with 22 months and the prime sub. We score a fossilized helix, preventing the first instance of damage. A very good relic. Even with offering, I like it. Um, do we want a ghostly armor? Kind of. Yeah, I'd like another decent block going into Guardian here. Especially one that we can let exhaust to get more card draw. Seems perfectly fine to me. Not interested in that rupture, really at all. Uh, I'm just going to bash Headbutt. Buffer this hit. Sixteen health. Uh, kind of awkward. Let's take three and make them seven health. So that Headbutt kills them. And then we heal 18. Third headbutt. Actually, what I'm going to do is something a little weird here. Because I already have two headbutts, I'm going to take Entrench. Picking up this Entrench means that if we find Barricade or Calipers, we basically immediately win the game. And there's a few other nonsensical things we can do with it as well. I like it. It doesn't need an upgrade until we have one of the things, though. Right now, I'm just going to upgrade the Disarm. An Aspirational Entrench, uh, you can call it. And the reason I'm okay with it is because, as far as I see it, we're within our Curse Tolerance. We can take another useless card without impacting the overall function of the deck, thanks to our uh, Draw from the Dark Embrace. And a few other things besides. Okay, and just headbutt Trugrit, I think. Or do I keep ghostly armor? I don't think I want ghostly armor in this fight. It's going to be a slow, protracted process here to uh, kill Guardian, I think. Does this even do 17 next turn? We'll do 6 plus... How much? 9 times 1.5 times 0.75. 10. So no, we don't actually transform. So I'd better play uh, Offering there. Hmm. 
meant to use the liquid bronze in this fight. I suppose it's not too late to consider it. It would speed things up really substantially. It's also a pretty good potion for Act 2. We're going to get whapped by the big attack, right? Because our damage is, is inadequate. No, I think we actually do need it. But we're going to get hit by the uh, 36 attack again. Okay. That seems fine. The birds, they are coming. Should have hit both the good instincts there. Oh well. Caramel Corn, thanks for the Prime Sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. So here you can really clearly see that if we didn't have the 12 additional damage from the Thorns, we wouldn't be able to transform here. So we get slapped for a ton of damage. We wouldn't die, but we'd be really, really pissed off about the situation. So Thorn's Potion saved us that inconvenience quite nicely. Guess I don't need bloodletting anymore. It seems like we're doing just fine. On to Act 2. GG. We even get our potion back, so I don't feel bad about using those thorns at all. Given that we already have the Dark Embrace, it seems like a no-brainer to take a corruption here. Giving us access to the ability to play all our skills for free and then draw stuff in addition. Heck yeah. Did you know that I play games other than Slay the Spire? It's true. Catch me over on Baylor Lord Plays for card games, RPGs, strategy games, and more. I'm giving five lucky fans that subscribe to the channel their choice Steam game. Enter the giveaway now by clicking the link in the description. Entry ends on January 9th. Impervious is not bad either. But I'm taking a corruption. And that's not a bad curse key, with Omomori still blocking one curse. We can open one chest, take the blue key from it, and skip the other one. Certainly that's better than Busted Crown. And with Meat on the Bone, we don't really need Black Blood healing 12 per fight. Although 24, if we're below half, is kind of cool. Perfectly happy with a curse key here. We get energy every turn whenever we open a non-boss chest. We get a curse. Can I handle three elites? Don't know. How many rest sites do I need? Not many. Okay. Start here. First, Omomori blocked the Golden Idol curse. Nice try, Clash. Not today. I 
wonder if I ever use the weak potion here. I don't think so. Did I ever play RuneScape? No. Can I kill either of these muggers? No idea. We're gonna get robbed. Maybe. Seems bad. Okay, we do get the Dark Embrace, but I can't do any damage. So what good is it? Actually, hold on. Take one. Feels bad to get robbed from, but so it goes. Do we ever want a combust plus? I don't think so. Seems like we have a shortage of damage based on the Guardian fight and how that fight went. Trust combust to give me the answer I need, though. Yeah, it's not going to help in this fight. you. jerk. Going for the big nasty attack. Another disarm. We're fighting bronze automaton, which makes disarms a bit less valuable, but they're excellent with corruption, so why the heck not? Do we still want to go to a shop with 225 gold? Do I still feel okay against elites? Less so. We're not getting good damage options still, but the shop could change that. To the shop. Uppercut can do stuff. We can take Vajra for plus one strength. Uppercut seems just fine, though. There's also the Bomb as a way to deal damage. Fun with Corruption, especially. Deals 40 damage to all enemies after three turns, so... Kind of iffy. Very useless against Reptomancer, for example. You have to do that damage on turn two. So I'm thinking just uppercut card remove. <laughs> and I will remove a strike. Okay. Bomb is okay against Repto Mancer with Vault. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Stone Calendar is okay against Reptomancer with five vaults. Thank goodness for buffer. Just headbutt that true grit. Chomp. But why so expensive, though? Hmm. 
good. Here we go. Pretty smooth. Anger with an upgrade is pretty good in any deck that can draw a lot of cards and needs damage, which is the deck we're playing, actually. Not often I take an Act 2 Anger, but this is the time when it comes upgraded and you still need the damage. Tabald with 21 months. Don't know if I thanked you, but thank you for the support. I, I do think three elites might be the way here. I'm feeling it. Let's do it. Ah, uh, tempting to take the relic for the curse. Need to open that chest, though. And we only have a limited number of curse blockages. So we'll pass. Though I don't like it. Don't like it one bit. And yeah, I think that relic is of a uh, fully random rarity. Exactly the wrong damage. So we kill you with this. Hit you with this. Lock. Disarm. Seems okay. Could block potion, but we also have the meat on the bone. I guess since we're at 50% chance to find a potion, I'll just use a block potion here. Saves nine. Should win next turn. Should, anyway. It doesn't mean we do. Dark Embrace. This fight did not go well. Did get another potion, though. Body Slam. Body Slam is a big deal, to be sure. This opponent's not too bad because of our two disarms. Alright, I'll just buffer this then. Um... Bash? Just bash. Boop. Thanks for playing. Please headbutt a true grit. Wait on body slam. Let's go uppercut. Anger wild strike. Ooh, 
Wing boots. Now we're talking. We can teleport around. Enabling us to potentially get more value out of certain floors or visit a later shop or something. I like that for Act 3, especially. Burning Pact and Shrug competing for excellent card added here. I think the current deck wants a Burning Pact with how much energy we have so that we can exhaust cards at our whims. Those are parallel. Did I play Outer Wilds? Yes. Yeah, we played through um, that on stream. Quite enjoyed it. Is Wild Strike ever good? Not, not really. Seems like not really. I'm gonna disarm you. Because we're buffering the front guy. Kind of weird to attack Mystic first. I could kill Mystic right now. Actually, with the disarms, that's kind of cool. Let's follow that line. Seems neat. do a triple attack, but it's only 4x3. Make that 3x3. Three three. Get perfected struck. Ooh. Wow, what a set of options. Burning pack plus... Dual wield plus, immolate, not plus. Love tap with the 22 months. Thanks for the almost two years of support. And Tiltosaurus Rex with a half year. Thank you, thank you. How's it going, Shab? Got our butt kicked earlier today, but we're back at it. Dual wield doesn't seem that good, actually. Immolate does patch a key weakness to AoE fights, which we don't have a good answer to currently. Kautamura, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. Hmm. Maybe just take another Burning Pact, honestly. But I could see Immolate really, really helping in these upcoming uh, elite fights. So let's take the Immolate. Hurts to not click a green card there, but so be it. Peace pipe, huh? That's cute. It's really cute. I think I take the Sapphire Key over Peace Pipe. We could take Peace Pipe and try to use it to toke curses, but what if we could just not get the curses in the first place? Sounds better. Hey there, going out. Hmm. Oh, this block is okay. There we go. You dare. Can block 30. Take 11. That's acceptable. I don't love it, but it's acceptable. Only way to fix that in any way, shape, or form would be to use the power potion. Be looking for metallicize or feel no pain or corruption. 
think I'd rather use this potion against the uh, Act Boss. Or perhaps even save it for Act 4. I'll just take 11. Dig deeper here. Offering is excellent. Okay, now we're talking. We can immolate and stuff. Corruption's next turn, so let's head uh, uppercut Gremlin Leader. Immolate both these nerds. And then headbutt. With that draw, I want Bloodletting back, I guess. No attack is good. Perfect turn for corruption. Cute. Hmm. Yeah, so let's play Bloodletting so that I can play Immolate and then Headbutt Immolate to kill the minions as they respawn here. Seems good. Excuse you. Concerning. So we do twenty one plus twenty six plus fourteen. It's not a kill. We've got to take a little bit more damage here. That's what the meat is for. Sure it can. If we play three attacks in one turn, we'll gain strength. That's pretty good. I really want to get this body slam upgraded, which is what's going to happen right here. Apologize if I missed a sub from you, Tim Eater. Thanks for the four months. Uh, I'm going to keep these potions. We're just going to go forward and upgrade Body Slab. So that it costs zero. Zach Jones with the Prime Sub, welcome. To the Koozie Sub Club. Alright, somewhat of a mediocre turn, actually. Concerning. Twenty-two, so it's not worth playing this. Can't draw any more because of the no draw. Stings a little bit. Hmm, that stings a lot. That's not good. It's really not good. Shoot. Happy to use the energy potion in this fight, although I'm not sure where to use it. I might want to use it for something like a double immolate, or to get Dark Embrace Corruption down at the same time. We can block for 22. That's three energy, though. Bringing to 21 means immolate alone won't kill. I'm going to have to trust. Becoming vulnerable is really bad here, but there's no way to prevent it. Cup XC, thanks for the four months and the prime sub. Thanks for keeping it cozy. Okay. 
Here's where we need to kill. Question is, can we actually do it? The steel's seven. Brings it to 14. No, we don't have a kill here. Well, that's very bad. Guess we did need that energy potion last turn. Uh, now I feel like I have to power potion and hope. Juggernaut, save me. Juggernaut, please save me. Help! Not correct. Looks like we're just dead. No, we're not. Easy game. Thanks, Juggernaut. Still vulnerable, though. Still in grave danger. Juggernaut of the gods. But is it actually enough? Is the more immediate pressing question. Which the answer might be no. Juggernaut. Oof. Didn't die. That was actually surprisingly tough. We almost, uh, almost keeled over there. Glad we had the Immolate, I suppose, although it didn't really help me. Spooky. I'm okay if we have to rest before the Bronze Automaton here. Knowing skull. What's up, buddy? Give me a potion. Thanks. Can't teleport to the shop now. So I'm just gonna leave. Thanks. And another chest with the curse key. Omamori is a bummer. I'm skipping it. We're sleeping. Okay, a bit of a sketchy couple of floors there, but I think we'll be just fine. I think we'll be just fine. play the offering anyway, right? This is fine. And there's the entrench. That's actually really good, I think. Oh, no Dark Embrace yet. That's promising. Um, do we go all out on this turn, I guess is the question. Feels like we might need to.
Like this. Here we go. Are we lost in trench? We did, huh? No? Oh, right, you have it. That's right, you have it. Like, where's my entrench gone? That's right, they've got it. Okay, that makes more sense. So we want a headbutt, body slam. Anger. No. This is. What's the order here? This is tricky, is what it is. Get the upper deck first, too. I'll do it this way. Forget here. Anger, anger here. Lock pot, body slam. No, because we shuffle as soon as I play the entrench. So I feel like it has to be in tr uh, block potion, then body slam, then gambler's brew. Keep the battle France, actually. There we go. Anger, anger, trench. This might not actually draw the body slam. Good, we got it. Okay, that's enough damage. Correct. Beam fire helps us both with the burning the deck down thing and with dealing damage. Juggernaut could be cool, actually. Juggernaut deck seems fun. Go Juggernaut. Really like Juggernaut as a damage source. Let's take Slaver's Collar. We could actually even argue for Tiny House here, believe it or not. Let's take Slaver's Collar. More energy in boss and elite fights. No need to muck about with not knowing what the enemy's gonna do. Really don't like having Runic Dome against Heart with Helix in particular. Very scary. Very hard to work around. We can do up to four elites this act. We're going to start here. Yeah, imagine this run dying to slavers. Would have been sad. Sad way to go. Oh. Ooh. kill. Didn't pick that all the way through. Didn't need to lose that one health.
All right, Juggernaut solves the other part of this fight. Three shrugs. Huh. Wow. Now this is a shop. Some really good things here. Another Dark Embrace is definitely worthwhile. Card remove is definitely worthwhile. The Abacus is pretty cool. Whenever we shuffle the draw pile, gain six block. That can help make the body slam into a true win condition, especially with two, um, two Dark Embraces. I like Panic Button quite a bit, too. But I think I want the Abacus over a Panic Button here. Remember, you can always count on the Abacus. Was Sundial an option there? Kind of. I think this works better, actually. Kind of. Excuse you. Ouch. But my face, though. Now we're talking. Now we should have control over this fight. Too many more cards we need now, mostly things that draw cards or, say, exhaust other cards. Uh-oh. Barricade? Give me that barricade. I need it. I take a power throw. Barricade, yes! Okay, that makes life even easier to get a random barricade. I guess I can also take the power throw. Um, was that three or four up top? Three? Three. Yeah, three. Excellent. Now we have a deck. Although, this could be an issue. Hmm. Boo. Ouch. Oh no. Oh shoot. Oh, that's really bad. 
Or, or a Calcum, even. Freaking yikes, man. Okay, okay. We have things under control. Not as bad as it seems. Spooky draw order, though. Heal for 18. Take a true grit. Try not to panic. Panic a lot. Okay, but what if I don't have to fight this elite? What if I go rest, rest? Or rest, upgrade something. Upgrade corruption looks really good. Very important that that gets played. Fight one less elite for that. Entrench is not that important as an upgrade because of our... Corruption, which we're playing in most fights. Okay, I get it. Play Barricade. We can do things like Body Slam into Draw it a bunch of times, although not on this turn. Seems fine. need to panic. And I don't have to open this. So I'm not going to. Got peppermint tea here today, sweaty lols. I think barricade is another reasonable upgrade. Although, are we getting another upgrade is the question. I might fight more elites here. You heard me. I will use this, though. Cheesy Bob, thanks for 51 months. The atomic number of antimony. It's quite a number. Actually, a fight that could kill me if we don't draw corruption soon. Uh, I guess we headbutt bloodletting. Play dark embrace. Play regret. Okay, meat value achieved. Now we're good. 
good in the hood. There we go. Corruption, my beloved. Long last. There we go. Not too bad a fight. Get lots of money and a rare relic for this one. So even if it's dangerous, it's often worth it. We get a fairy in a bottle and a mango. So even though we invested quite a bit of health, we get tons of health back. And there's the feel no pain to really bring this whole deck together. Now the Juggernaut will deal massive damage amongst other upsides. Good luck, Giant Head. Time. Rest in pieces, that guy. We've had first barricade, yes, but what about second barricade? Now, how about bloodletting? Ah. How's about bloodletting? Power pot for the end game, very good. I'm just going to buy this, even though we might get a potion drop here or here. And I'll save money for a remove in the final shop, because we're not going to be able to afford two removes. And I want to delay the information, just in case there's something better in the final store to purchase. Was it really necessary to get into this fight? No. Am I afraid? Also, no. No, I am not. Barricade, the only power that's useless to play twice. No, there's quite a few, actually. Corruption, um, Master Reality. Might be a couple others. Look at that. One Immolate coming right up. Boom. 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 Also, I full block. Bad. Bean fire, welcome back. Ooh. 
cool, I think. Take that as a turn one. Good luck to me. Seems stinky. Either I take a bunch of damage or I maybe get cursed. Guess taking 13 is not that bad, huh? Let's take 13. Yeah, exactly. So I, I think that would have been the next roll, essentially. Jerk. You jerk. Second win plus. Here we go. Exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand, getting seven block per. Excellent with Juggernaut. Excellent with uh, Feel No Pain. Excellent with Dark Embrace. Overall, an excellent card. All right, our first boss. The Shapes Twins. Donu and Decca, they call them. Here to mess up our day. Lose our buffer early, but I don't foresee that being that much of a problem. Barring the fact that I'm getting bodied on this turn. Which is a minor inconvenience. Ultimately, we have plenty of health, so fear not. Get him, second wind. get to keep that, unfortunately. But we do get to keep all of this. Okay, 45 health for the Awakened One, who shouldn't be a problem at all here. Some similar reasons to the previous fight. Can't quite full block. Do I immolate then? Probably. Wait, my buffer. That's complicated. Hmm. Concerning. Looks like I'd better play this. Um, incoming will be just enough that we don't die. This is spooky, actually. I may have to power push it next turn. Hmm. 
do a barricade down. But my potions, that's a bummer. Let me use this here. It's unfortunately not helpful right now. That burning pact. I'm deleting this juggernaut. All right, just needed the corded hands. Cute, actually. Okay, okay. We got this. Fear not, we got this. That juggernaut I also don't need. Dark Embrace. How do we feel about that? Seems like overkill. I'm just gonna go uppercut, body slam, feet fire. Fire here. Don't like that we lost our potions, though. To that shenanigans. At least we have enough money for new ones. Also gonna take a nap. Dupe pot's very good. Can't skip that. Probably just take the energy potion then. Could take an armaments. Don't really feel the need to. Bash disarm. Thinking about trying to barricade here, I'm not sure how much it matters. Left one goes first, that's correct. always headbutt barricade, that's true. So the entrench won't matter here. I guess we just headbutt. Headbutt the shrug. Headbutt the shrug. Take six here. And we're attacked for seven by four on this turn, which is a little questionable. We want to go Corruption, Dark Embrace, presumably. Uppercut for more weakness is tempting. Decent use of the Energy Potion blocks uh, eight here. Let's see what this is first. Iron Wave, that's nice. Five more block. Do have a second Embrace, but we really need next turn to be good because we're getting attacked for 57 next turn behind us. So, use the energy pot to block for eight? I don't think so. I think I just take the damage. Right, yeah. If we don't have Dark Embrace in play on this turn, total disaster. Total disaster. 
But thankfully we have Dark Embrace, so we can keep going here. Oh, jeez. Uh, help! Damn it. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Disaster improving. Yikes. Well, at least we got meat on the bone, hey? Bummer. Oh, yeah, headbutt the uh, barricade, actually. All good. All we gotta do is get this set up in the heart fight, and we win. Fifty five health and a buffer might just be enough. Looks like we're losing buffer. The other option is to only play one of these powers. Seems really, really unlikely. I feel like we should probably just duplicate Dark Embrace right now. Double Dark Embrace, single Feel No Pain, single Barricade. That might get us killed next turn, though. Honestly, that might not work. Let's go in eight days. Was I always playing roguelike slash strategy games? No, the first roguelike I tried that I really liked was FTL Faster Than Light back in 2012. Dupe Defend. Hold the heckin' phone. That would block for... I think you're right, actually. Dupe Defend. So we block for 10, take 4, go to 6. I can play Dark Embrace, Barricade, and if I want an Energy Potion, I can play all the powers and keep the buffer. With Dupe Defend. <laughs> That's the dumbest line ever, I like it. Yeah, I think keeping the buffer so that we never die next turn is probably the single most important thing we can do. And then energy pot, feel no pain. I'm gonna do it. Disarm, no, that's fine. I mean, we got offering, so everything's fine. Oh, never mind. I lied. Ha ha ha. Easy game. Easy game. All right, we blocked the hit. I think we're there. Dupe defend for the win. The roller coaster of emotion. Sure this is adequate to play corruption. Let's trick it first. That was gonna be pretty hard to survive, too. Hmm, now what? Garbage.
Here we are. Fire. Get wrecked, Mr. Hart. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next, and don't forget to follow on Twitch to watch the content live. Click the link in the description below.